Hello and welcome to another tutorial about video generation with stable diffusion and AI. In this one, I'm going to use the previous workflow of Leaf Fusion LoRa, Prompt and Image Reference to generate that, that infinite loop of video that can be sticked one to each another because of the image reference there that continues to uh, connect them together. So in this one, I'm going to be sharing a bit the broken change element there. I mean, uh, the broken chain basically is as you generate the video one after the other, if you don't like one, it's easy. You remove it and you just generate another one. So that's the simple case. But something important to keep in mind is as you generate more and more and more, and they are all attached to each another, right? I mean, all these segments are attached because of the last image. If later on you find one that you don't like and you decide to delete it, well, it's not that simple of a decision there because when you remove one from the chain, everything else from the chain that was generated will have to be basically deleted because if you regenerate one, then you become it becomes another chain basically, right? You have to regenerate all of them. So that's really a decision to really review as you generate the different uh, little segment of video there because if you miss something, if you realize something you didn't like, well, chances are you have to just live with it there or really you'll have to regenerate everything all over again, right, from that moment on. So that's why you have to decide is it really even worth it there. So uh, sometimes you just have to live with that little thing that you didn't like even though uh, it bothers you a bit there. So here's a full generation of video there. I want to go through this with you and show you the different elements I noticed as I was moving forward. And then hopefully you will know about them too. So in this case, for example, the, the hand movement was a bit fast. So I, I find it could have been slower. Uh, there's uh, some brightness change going on. So something to notice. Here, things okay. Uh, the blinking is just to understand that, you know, the character was not blinking often enough. So something to notice. The hands was okay. I think I uh, would have probably regenerated uh, more to see if it was better hands. Uh, the arm here morphed into the background, right? The arm became the background. So that was something uh, that I noticed a bit later. Sometimes the pause is a bit long, longer than I would like. So it, it does make the, uh, the video a bit... Uh, a bit changing there. Oh, the long neck. I mean, the neck here is a bit too long to my liking there. Uh, suddenly here, there's there some nail polish going on with, with, the, uh, with the fingernails. So that was strange. Oh, and this one, the extra finger. Uh, also missing earring, but the extra finger on the left. I mean, because the finger went off screen, suddenly there's like the extension of finger over another finger. So that was a bit strange because in general, when something goes off screen, um, it would morph and change, right? For example, here, the cloud pattern there would constantly change because it would go off screen. And because the Hunyuan model and the uh, image to video LoRa only knows from the last image reference, it does not know what the original video is. A example here, I mean, as you change the angle of, of the face, then all the feature of the face change also. Right, so because of that, it does not know what was the original uh, facial feature looked like. So everything is shifting a bit, changing a bit. It's still consistent within the last image, but compared to the original video, the original image, it's not quite consistent anymore. Right, so um, you can see the consistency as you move along, but not against the original uh, video there. So you can see as we switch back, the facial feature is a bit different compared to the original image. It's still nice looking. It's still consistent within this video frame, uh, but not anymore with the original video frame. Uh, the skin here is a bit too smoothed, so probably I would have uh, regenerated it. You know, some uh, lighting effect there going on. That's fine. Oh, yeah, suddenly the hair here is uh, much darker than the original video. So that's something uh, to take notice of. Oh, yeah, there's the stuck uh, lighting bokeh effect there going on. Because of one video to another, it just got stuck there for a while. Right? It didn't move along uh, as the flow of video there. The thumb went, uh, went a bit uh, uh, shadow uh, uh, transparency going on. 
So that's something I notice. Yeah, you can see uh, I put the original video. I mean, uh, original from now. I mean, the character is somewhat different. Oh, the eyes there barely close on, on the further one. It was just half close. Again, it doesn't mean it's not nice looking. It's just different from the original character. Uh, the eye color went uh, much darker suddenly. So that's something to take notice. Yeah, the face change again, right? I mean, because we changed the angle, again, the facial feature change, right? So uh, again, something to take notice of. Yeah, the color, I mean, um, the lighting, the saturation is constantly changing. Um, I have a new node to uh, look into the uh, color shift there. So that's hopefully is going to help facial morph, right? I mean, the actual f uh, face um, measurement changed there suddenly right there. And uh, yeah, the hairstyle completely changed and the eye color shift also. So uh, I think those are the elements I noticed there. If you notice other elements, don't hesitate to post comments there. I mean, I'm not an expert in it, but th those are the things I noticed. So right now I'm going to run a full run, a full replay of the whole video without any comment there. So uh, at least we see the whole thing and it's in uh, full speed in this case there. There you go. So uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed that full generation there. 
Um, it was, I think, more than 4,000 frames that were generated to make that full video. Uh, it, nothing prevented me to just continue, right? I mean, really, you just generate more and more and more and attach them together. Uh, but again, the key lemon here is to understand that every time you generate, you have to look at it to see if it's good enough, if there's something wrong with it before you just attach it and move on, right? And then you end up with a different issue that it's hard to fix later on there because uh, everything's chained together after the last image. So hopefully you enjoy that video and uh, I'll see you around for other uh, new uh, workflow that I'm going to be uh, generating there. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.